Hey, what's up guys? Another year, another big project to take on. The iPhone XS deserves the same treatment as the iPhone 10 and 8 did last year with the clear glass back mod. So the interior is gonna look a little bit different this year. Apple redid it a little bit with new SIM card tray, the orientation, and uh, I wanted to go ahead and get a peek at that beautiful interior, get closer to that Apple A12 chip on uh, the iPhone XS. So in order to do this mod, first off, we do have to take off the glass, which in itself is a struggle. And I know literally almost nobody uh, of my viewers are going to be doing this, but I still wanna show you guys just how awesome it is. And the final result does look pretty dang cool. And of course, the more careful you are the better end result so last year on the iphone 8 wasn't the cleanest but that still looks pretty dang cool i did manage to ruin the wireless charging though on the iphone 10s a little bit better and uh, hopefully even better on this guy so we're going to be taking off this glass then the camera and scraping off this entire thing and for the people that do want to do this i'll show you guys how to it's uh it's quite a struggle but shouldn't be any more difficult than last year's Anyways, so uh, just uh, so you guys can see, the only reason I'm even getting under here very quickly is because I already pried it and broke the seal or the antenna band here, and I can get my fingernail underneath here or any of my tools and start prying. So I do have my scrapers, really sharp carbide blades. The sharper the better because man, Apple has some sort of application process that bonds to glass so insanely great. Um, and this is gonna be a shame because I'm getting rid of the gold color, but hey, I still wanna see what it'll look like. Got my X-Acto knives, more razors, spare razors, and uh, let's start with the priors. I'm gonna be using these little picks. These do wonders for the back here. And uh, of course, some gloves so you don't end up scratching yourself. But uh, before that, we do need to warm it up a little. So heat really doesn't do much here, but it does help a little bit. If you were to put some rubbing alcohol in there, it would weaken the bond, which would have been better, but hey, at least this. So we're gonna go around the edges and uh, where we're gonna start scraping, that's where you wanna heat it. So your little pig can get in under there. Now you wanna apply a good amount till, till it almost hurts. Then with the pick, go in, but if you didn't already have an entry point, man. I'm not sure I understand. To get one is not the easiest. As you can see, oh, nice. Well, there goes that video. Damn, that was a lot less durable than I thought. Man. All right, this just went from a tutorial to, <laughs> I'm just gonna show you what it looks like uh, regardless, because I suck at my own advice. First off, this should be off. And uh, same, same, we're just gonna pry the glass off now. And if you have broken the back, you can use this as a guide to replace it, I guess. Seems like there's less adhesive on the back now. I mean, on the old one, Apple applied it heavily all over the frame, as you can see on the eight here. I'm not seeing as much here. Yeah, it's much easier placed on there. Wow, this glass is so much more brittle than I thought. That's so sad. Ugh. By the way, something I bet you guys didn't know and I just totally took off the top layer of this wireless charger is that on this charger, the reason it charges faster, it charges by about 30 minutes faster over the last year's iPhone 10, is because this coil is comprised entirely of copper and that's much more efficient than the previous material they were using, which is a combination of several materials. And that's why you get faster charging, not because of any other reason. So <laughs> we're just gonna break it apart piece by piece. I'm lucky that it's easy to get in under there. I was really hoping I could have saved it and I scraped it, but I guess you gotta work with what happens. All right, making progress. Yeah, this is much easier than last year's version, surprisingly. That looks freaking cool, wow. So I'll use the glass from the existing 10, just put it on there. But that looks so, so good. It would have been nice to have the matching gold text. It'll be just silver on this one. But wow. You know, break the glass and reveal a work of art underneath. 
I love that about Apple is that no matter what part of the phone you're looking at, everything is so clean and orderly, always looks nice. That's like Apple's design mantra is clean sweep everywhere. All right, pretty much got most of it off here and it's looking pretty good. I'm not sure I understand. Ah, you're on. It's like waking up during anesthesia. <laughs> Off you go. Man, you remember her filming back in the days? We have to hold our breath from all the fumes. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. We, we did a lot where the batteries exploded. All right, so most of the difficult part has been done. Well, I hesitate to say that because there's a lot of really hard stuff left around the side, but the biggest chunk of the glass is gone. Now we got to deal with the edges, and this is where more of the fine points come in. So I'm just going to scrape these off individually. Big pain in the ass. So it does take a while, but you wanna make sure you're doing a good job cleaning all the residue out. You can definitely see why Apple would charge almost an entire iPhone replacement if the back breaks. You have to replace the entire housing. One does not just simply replace the glass here. It is an entire process. The residue they use, that's mostly the culprit here. I mean, if this thing, if it broke and you could just peel it off normally and apply a new one, that would be very easy. They use some hardcore glues here. Okay, so all clean except for the camera. Now I'm gonna try and remove all the glass from it first. Some tough stuff, seriously. I mean, it cracked really easily, but the actual glass you can tell is quite tough. So, last bit, and then we'll try and pry the camera apart. All right, so be quite gentle going around the camera. You'll start to notice a crevice between the metal shell and the actual lens, and that's where we're gonna pry it apart. Still got some more glass to get rid of. And this is like the toughest part, the entire back glass here is really, really glued down. Damn, did you see the sparks? Let's start a fire. Do not do this near any hazardous or flammable materials because I keep getting sparks everywhere. Okay, so everything is off at this point. Now, to remove this camera, there are little metal uh, TIG welds, I guess you could say, tiny little welds holding them together with the frame. You do have to sever those. Okay, there we go. Ah, no, it is the same actually. So I'm gonna start from the top. As you can see, those little, little tiny metal dots. And it comes off. Perfect, so we have completed the first part. Now, if you had done this correctly, you would have had a whole glass back, or if you broke yours, you can get a new back and just scrape it off by yourself, or you know, maybe you don't wanna do it at all and just wanna replace it, so there we have that. I probably wouldn't recommend anybody do this. Chances of you having all 100% functional phone after this aren't that great. But hey, all right, so let's apply the glass and it actually fits really nicely typically reinstall this with some glue mine is broken so i should probably think about replacing that but i actually like this so much more than i thought i would the copper coil matches with the lens and with the border it's a beautiful beautiful look wow that works so well honestly it would be nice for Apple to release a transparent edition as so many manufacturers are, such as HTC and Xiaomi. All right, so here is the finished product, guys. It actually looks great, much better than I thought. Now, I didn't seal this onto here, but uh, it'd be pretty easy to do with just a seal going around it. Again, I think that the matching colors with the copper and the goldish tone on the sides looks amazing. And had I been a little bit more careful, would be a very, very nice touch. So I think it's a pretty decent alternative to a colored back, but then again, I don't see many people doing this. You do lose your warranty, you lose your water resistance, but does it look great? Yeah, I mean, I would say so anyways. I would rock it had I been able to keep the water resistance. So the best way to enjoy this clear look, I think, is to combine it with iFixit's new teardown wallpapers. So they actually have an x-ray version of the inside of the iPhone XS, and then they have a new internal one that actually shows the new L-shaped battery. So it's now fused instead of two different cells. Really, really nice. Apple has reworked it a little bit. 
looks cool. So that in combination with this wallpaper, you really do get a totally clear iPhone look here and it is awesome. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, all 1% of you, wait, 1% of 1% that'll be trying it or absolutely nobody how it went and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. So definitely wish it would have went a little bit better and I could have preserved the gold lettering, but all in all managed to salvage it and it looks pretty nice. And one thing I wanted to do is to test the wireless charging. I hope that I didn't destroy it. My wireless charger, I'm gonna test the working one. All right, that does work. And let's hopefully, oh yeah, okay, it's all good. I didn't completely destroy it, so there was a black covering on it, but I guess it's not needed since there is another clear one on top of the coil. Less resistance in the way of the wireless charger, I guess. So um, yeah, there it is guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, worked hard for it. I think it turned out absolutely sweet. Peace.